whatever it takes to get you to try harder, read more, set your goals and go for it. Here's the next attitude disease. Over caution. Some people never will have much. They're too cautious. Now you can also be too reckless, but you can also be too cautious. This is called the timid approach to life. And my caution was always the risk. Risk used to drive me right up the wall. I used to say, what if this happens? It's called the language of the poor. What if this happens? And on top of that, if this was to happen, look at the fix I'd be in. I better not try. I could always ace myself out. Then I'll tell you what changed my whole life when I finally discovered it's all risky. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. If you think investing is risky, wait till you get the tab for not investing. See, it's all risky. Getting married is risky. Having children is risky. Going into business is risky. Investing your money is risky. It's all risky. I'll tell you how risky life is. You're not gonna get out alive. <laughs> that's risky. The Englishman says, well, if that's the way it's gonna work out, let's give it a go. Right, that's what it's for, give it a go. Somebody says, yeah, but I'm looking for safety and security. Fine, then huddle in a corner. We'll cover you with a sheet, bring you three meals a day. And we'll protect you, feed you, look after you, care for you, we won't let anything happen to you, and you'll probably live to be 100. The guy said, well, yeah, I'd live to be 100, but what a way to live. Right, what a way to live safe and secure. Don't ask for security, ask for adventure. Better to live 30 years full of adventure than 100 years safe in the corner. And see, it's not important how long you live. What's important is how you live. People always ask you, what's your plan? Where do you want to be in one year, two years, five years? What do you do when you're not sure? Well, I think the answer really is to risk forward. Now, years ago, I studied with the great legendary mime, Marcel Marceau. And there was a, a type of movement he taught us, which was weight forward onto one foot, a little off balance, and heart open. I've come to think of it really as a philosophy for life and work. How we can move forward, a little off balance, heart open, heading into the unknown. It's easy to miss the supernatural happening right in front of your eyes because you have a perspective that is, is limited. That you will never see the supernatural unless you believe first. We define faith as acting like God is telling the truth, acting like it is so, even when it's not so, in order that it might be so, simply because God said so. And faith is measured by feet, not by feelings, by movement, not by what you say out of your mouth. Faith must be exercised in order to be real. That's why the Bible calls it walking by faith. Here is our situation. We have these disciples who are in a difficult scenario. A scenario in which Peter is going to take a risk. A risk is where you take a chance without being assured of how things are going to work out. Now, you and I are used to taking risk in life. We take risk all the time. If you're invested in the stock market, you're taking a risk. A risk that things are going to go up ultimately and not ultimately go down. A risk taking is a major part of life. But it's interesting how many people will take 
a risk in life who won't bet on God. They will risk things that people tell them, but who won't gamble on God in the sense of a risk where you are not absolutely certain how it's going to wind up. In the Bible, many people had to take risks. They had to bet on God while being uncertain about where things were going to wind up. For example, Esther went before the king and said, I'm going to go and I'm going to stand before him and if I perish, I perish. I'm not sure where this is going to wind up, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place my bet, if you will. The three Hebrew boys, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, took their stand before Nebuchadnezzar and said, our God is able to deliver us, but if he doesn't, they took a risk not being certain how this thing was going to wind up. The children of Israel walked when the Red Sea opened up on dry ground with a mountain of water on both sides, taking a risk that it wouldn't collapse while they were walking through. They took a chance. And the Bible calls it faith because it's talking about betting on God. We're talking about, do you place a bet on him? Do you... Bet on God. 